This is said to be some of the damage in Syria. The video unconfirmed by NBC News. 50 targets reportedly hit, 120 terrorists reportedly killed. And as he confirmed the first U.S.-led airstrikes in Syria, President Obama sent a message. And once again, it must be clear to anyone who would plot against America and try to do Americans harm that we will not tolerate safe havens for terrorists who threaten our people. U.S. pilots flew in from the Persian Gulf. Four dozen Tomahawk cruise missiles fired. In all, three U.S. Navy warships hit four main target areas in Syria. President Obama boasted that five Arab nations took part in the attack. Bahrain, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and the UAE. The strength of this coalition makes it clear to the world that this is not America's fight alone. And the target was not ISIS alone. Mr. Obama ordered attacks on two other al-Qaeda offshoots, including one, Khorasan, that U.S. intelligence fears is on the verge of launching an attack on the U.S. homeland or on Europe. These terrorists have established a safe haven in Syria to plan external attacks, construct and test improvised explosive devices, and recruit Westerners to conduct operations. The president went to New York to sound that alarm. At the United Nations, in the spotlight of a General Assembly speech and in private meetings, President Obama hopes to enlarge the coalition to destroy ISIS and other al-Qaeda offshoots. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.